Tyler, more than 2,000 works and more than a billion dollars worth of art coming up for auction in New York just this week. But the total is expected to be down 20 percent from last year. That's the biggest drop since the financial crisis. The real trouble is at the very top of the market. So that's paintings that usually sell for eight or nine figures. Now, two years ago, remember, we had that Leonardo da Vinci. That sold for $450 million. Then last year, we had two pieces selling for over $90 million. This year, the star lot is estimated at less than half that. 30 to $40 million for Ed Ruscha's Hurting the Word Radio 2. That is up for auction at Christie's. Now, Christie's also has a rediscovered David Hockney called Sur la Terrasse. That could fetch $45 million, a big drop from the Hockney they sold last year for $90 million. Now, art experts blame slowing growth overseas, troubles in Hong Kong, Brexit, and the removal of a tax loophole that allowed collectors to sell paintings and trade up without ever paying capital gains taxes. Now, over the longer term, art still performing well. Sotheby's has this gorgeous Mark Rothko called Blue Over Red that hammered for $5.6 million back in 2005, estimated to sell this week for over $25 million. How's that for appreciation? Now, here's a taste. Oh, sorry. That's it, hasn't it hasn't changed much in those 50. No, it 15. still looks good. It's still blue over red or blue it's over yellow. Blue over red. Red. It's amazing how still that looks works. good. <laughs> and it's done better than the stock market. Plus, you get to look at it every day. Yeah, you so. have it. But you that, get loop, to enjoy that it. loophole is really something else. I'd never heard of that before. It, so a collector can, or a dealer can buy it, and then I could sell it to Tyler for twice the price, and like I wouldn't have to pay estate. capital gains? Correct, as long as you put that money directly into another painting. So right, what these right, auctions right. often were were just people trading each other. Sure. They would sell one thing at the same auction, buy something else. That has really hurt the very top of that market. Wow. 1031 exchanges. It's like